my volunteer coaches, Trayvon Sanders and Kevin Sanders, to come front center, please. Red Devil and state champion Sincere Wilmore. First of all, how's that title hit your ears? You like feels that? good. Feels good to bring it back. Um, Carlo, you're a senior on this team. You've been a contributor since your eighth or ninth grade year grade, yeah. uh, on varsity. What does it feel like to, to cap your career with the state championship? It feels good. It feels good to be able to do this because we've been working since eighth grade year just to bring a title home. We got it our senior year. All right, so Sincere, for, from the time you came up to varsity, I think in eighth grade, you've been one of the best shooters on the team. Coach Fair actually said he thinks you're the best pure shooter in the state of South Carolina. Where, where does that ability come from? Um, when I was younger, I was always small. I could never get to the rack, so I just stuck to shooting. It's been my, my part in every basketball team, so I'm a shooter. And, and you made two shots in the state championship game tonight, but you made them both count big time. One was a three at the end of the half that, that gave Brett Falls a lead and gave him some momentum. And then one was a long two at the end of the third to kind of break up a little run that Scott Branch was on. Can you kind of go through those two plays? Well, the first one, I know I had to get one to go in. I hadn't hit all night. And after that one, I knew it was going to bring the team up. The second one, I got a steal after an air ball and made it. I didn't even know the clock was going down. I just shot it. So. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say that, that the second one in particular was such a scramble because it was like less than a second on the clock when it left your hand. You had to pull it. Out. I don't even know how you got the ball in, much less how you got the shot off. Yes, I have no idea. I just know I got it. it came to me. I shot it. Right, with uh, Great Falls Red Devil uh, DJ Adams, uh, part of the team that just won the state championship. First of all, how did that feel? Yeah, that feel great. Uh, coming from a small town, everybody was there. Great atmosphere. It felt great. Um, with, they had the ball with uh, under their own basket with one second left. Y'all are hanging on to a, a, a two-point lead. And it looked like they inbounded the ball directly to you. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, as soon as he took it out, I was like, oh, yeah, we got to play defense. But he threw it right to my hand, so I just caught it and I held the ball. And I was just like, it was over. It's over. We win. And we won. What, what did it feel like when it, when it dawned on you what had just happened? It was crazy because we always used to talk about it in practice, but I'm not, it still haven't hit me yet that we won it yet. It just don't feel real, but I'm proud of the guys and everybody that was there. All right, with uh, Great Falls assistant basketball coach Steve O'Squire, well, the Red Devils just brought home their 11th all-time state championship in basketball. Coach, now you want a ring as a player here yes, in basketball. You uh, made the playoffs at the college level. Yes, sir. Uh, playing football. Where, where does this accomplishment compare, helping coach a team for a championship? I think it means it means a little bit more because you put more into it. I'm not, I'm not doing my own workout. What's up, man? I'm not doing my own workout. I'm actually guiding someone else doing their own workout. So, you know, and to see the seniors come up and win after seeing them. Uh, when I first got to the school in 18, they lost to Louisville. And they lost to High Point. And to see the guys actually pulling through this year was amazing. So, this journey right here was amazing. Um, outside of the actual X's and O's and preparing for the game, 
having played for a state championship before, did you help kind of prepare the guys for the environment, for what it's going to be like, for the expectations, for the pressure, and yes, all that sir. kind of stuff? Yes, sir, absolutely. I told the guys, uh, you know, if you look at all basketball goals, you got a wall right, right behind it. You know, when you get to the, when you get to the state championship, when you get to the state championship in up, upstate, uh, the depth perception is, is totally different. I told the guys, get as much shots up and sincere. You know, the two buzzer beers actually paid out for us. So. And um, DJ, I think he had 22 points and Kim with 25. So it all worked out all together. But uh, all love to uh, Coach Fair, man, for bringing me on. So.